Here is your Chris Stark guide to Peterborough, Sam. Peterborough, Peterborough, Peterborough. Very much the Disney world of Great Britain. <laughs> A confusing place where Southerners will consider you Northern and Northerners will call you Southern. <laughs> There's no coincidence. The Romans wanted to make it their home when they invaded some 200 years ago. Fast forward a few years, and after the building of a leper hospital in the 12th century, and outbreaks of the plague in 574, 1607, 1625, and 1665 to 67, the great city of Peterborough really came into its own. The 19th century saw the introduction of the railways and the city has not looked back ever since. In fact, the trains became a very prominent feature of Peterborough life. Ask most people about Peterborough and nobody really knows where it is. You're either passing it when travelling by train or if you're lucky enough, you may visit there to get your passport sorted. It famously has one of the largest passport centres in the UK. The local people are a friendly bunch, but will be easily wound up if you suggest, as many do, that nothing really goes on there. <laughs> Another thing that will wind Peterborough people up is comparing the city to Cambridge. They hate that. Confusingly, though, Peterborough is in Cambridgeshire, but also parts of it are in Lincolnshire, it? Rutland and Northamptonshire. It's almost as if no one place wants to claim the whole of Peterborough. <laughs> Why is it in so many counties? I, don't know. I never knew. Yes, it's an important stop on the East Coast Railway line between London and Edinburgh. But if you choose to disembark there, much like Disney World, many fun and exciting attractions await. The Showcase Cinema Deluxe. Peterborough really is as luxurious as it sounds. Who needs Planet Hollywood when you can have Planet Ice, Peterborough's <laughs> premier ice skating rink? Or how about the place that every child of Peterborough dreams of going for on their birthday? No, not Disney World, of course, but Big Sky Soft Play and Activity Centre. <laughs> Scott, play holy music. For a more classy day out, there's the famous Peterborough Cathedral, a beautiful church known for its imposing early English Gothic West Front facade, which with three enormous... Facade. Facade. It has three enormous arches. Notable people buried there include Ralph the Timid, Ralph the Staller, and several bishops of Peterborough. But people aren't just buried in the city, they're also born there. Notable people born to this great city include footballer David Bentley, gymnast Louis Smith, Puit Peter Boiseau, founder of Pizza Express, has been given the freedom of Peterborough, and Jake Humphrey, also born there, Aston Merigold oh, of JLS fame. <laughs> Whereas Disney World has Ariel the Little Mermaid, Peterborough has its own fishy quality an abundance of fish and chip shops. There's halibut everywhere. Look to the left, halibut. Look to the right, halibut. And chips. They can't get enough of them. Was this wrong? And the fish thing doesn't end there. Did you know a small part of Octopussy of James Bond was filmed near Peterborough? And if it's not fish that you're smelling as you travel through Peterborough... That will be the smell of oats, Quaker oats off porridge, which has a factory producing warm oaty aromas to the surrounding areas. Sam, are you enjoying your guide so far? It's amazing, right. absolutely amazing. Scott Mills. The Romans invaded Peterborough 200 years ago, right? Yeah, that was that's a not. Mistake. That's not. Yeah, and this was some kind of like secret Roman invasion okay. that we didn't know about. Was that anyway. two? You've put a zero on it, is it? 2000. BBC Radio 1. Sam's with us. Hey, Sam. Hello. Right, Chris, back to the guide to Peterborough. The city centre is currently undergoing a billion-pound revamp. However, many would argue that it's so good they don't even need the money. 
Everyone loves the city centre. Just look at the crowds in Primark on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> and just look at the nightlife. Flares, angels, the Met Lounge. A night out doesn't truly become a night out until you've drank pictures through straws at the College Arms. Who needs glasses? Bit of advice. If you want to take advantage of Turtle Bay's two-for-one offer, you have to be prepared to either get there early or pay full price for a while or stand outside queuing with what feels like the rest of Peterborough for 30 minutes. If you like pubs, it's a very British affair. You have the Crown, the Old Crown and the Crown and Rose. So there you have it. Who needs Disney World when you have Peterborough? It's safe to say I am very excited for you to be under the P. Under the P. Under the P. Darling, it's better. It's definitely wetter. Take it from me. Up in Crowland Abbey, they like to pray. In Southy Wood, they like to play. While the oats roasting, in flares we are toasting under the pea. <laughs> Who? There we there are. So just play wow. that, and she'll love it. Yeah, under the pea. I'm sure she will. Under the pea. Yeah.